hi everyone so now we will come from the basics so this is an 330 watt solar panel and this 330 watt solar panel is generating an voltage of 45 volts and a current of 8.6 amperes which is shown now so this solar panel is of 330 watt solar panel so this solar panel is of 330 watts and we have been connected all this solar panel so this solar panel we have been shown you the nameplate details the vm is 37 volts and im of this panel or the current maximum current of this panel is 8.6 like this we have been connected 20 solar panels in series connection therefore 37 into so like this you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So all this is one set where we are going to call this as string 1. So this string is having uh, approximately 20 solar panel and when you multiply with this maximum voltage of 37 volts, uh, the total voltage generated by this string, we are going to call this uh, group of solar panel is called as string, it is going to generate a voltage of uh, 740 volts. So this is like this, uh, we are going to have, let us try to do for, we have this complete plant is all about uh, 3, I mean 150 kilowatt peak rated plant and here we have three inverters, one is 50 kilowatt inverter, next one, second 50 kilowatt and one more 50. So 50 into 3, 150 kilowatt plant we have and 50 kilowatt plant we are going to have eight strings and each string consists of 20 panels or connected in series connection to generate the output DC voltage of 740 volts. So like this, all this uh, we have 50 kilowatt I will show you there about the string inverter or which is grid connected inverter all like this we have eight strings are connected in parallel so therefore each is of 20 20 into 4 i mean 20 into 4 plus 20 into 4 is one set and another set so therefore 20 panels into 8 is approximately 160 panels are connected to 150 kilowatt inverter similarly one more 160 panels are connected in the form of strings and connected to one more 50 kilowatt inverter. So like this uh, totally 160 into 3. So complete this complete 150 kilowatt plant has around 500 I mean 480 panels on our average we have 480 panels uh, but we have been reduced one panel in each string in such a way that uh, the total parallel voltage we are taking it as uh, 7 40 and next we have another string with 19 into 37 which is 703 that's why all these are connected in parallel which will constitute 703 so this is nothing but these panels are nothing but polycrystalline okay so this panel category is polycrystalline and it is manufactured by orb energy okay so already we have been completed 10 years and this is manufactured by orb energy and all these panels are approved by Ministry of New Renewable Energy Resources. This is the how what about the brand. So we have the RFID tagging so where you can understand and how the warranty is there. So we have been successfully completed all our average uh, 10 years we have been completed still the plant is running very successfully that's why we are trying to demonstrate all about this solar panel. So like this this is a string one so we have approximately for each inverter we have eight strings okay. So, 8 threes are 24 strings we have. So, complete 150 kilowatt plant we have, I mean, 24 strings. Okay. Each string consists of uh, 20 panels. Now, let us try to see the panels. So, this is uh, string 1, and second string is uh, this one. So, this is nothing but uh, string 2. So, where it consists of uh, again 20 panels, and this is of uh, third string. So, this string is also consisting of uh, again 20 panels in series connection. This is a string 4 which consists of 20 panels are connected in a series connection. So this is a string 5 and you have like this, we have one more 6 string this is which is of 20 connected in series and this is also 20 connected in series. So on our average all these are having 8 strings are connected to 150 kilowatt inverter. So this is 
the remaining string okay you can see from there 1 2 3 4 so this 4 will constitute one inverter why because each set is of 20 so this is 1 2 3 4 so totally 4 into 2 8 8 strings are there which will constitute one inverter you can see this is nothing but the cable tray so from this connected in series we have been connected all these things in series connection and we are running this the wire at the dc cabling and this dc cabling is going to the 50 kilowatt and to protect the solar panels from lightning the lightning arrester is provided so this is a solid grounding lightning arrester this lightning arrester it can directly trap the thunders which are released and directly this will be sent into the earth and you can see here how it is isolated by using a porcelain isolation so you can see the top end is made up of copper and completely it will be going into the earth that's how the panels we are protecting from lightning and we have grounding also so that we will demonstrate so this is all about the lightning arrester the safety we are following for this solar plant of 150 kilowatt so now we can see here so that is completely 1 2 3 4 this is one inverter okay so from here onwards you have 1 2 3 4 which will constitute one more inverter okay so here we have one more inverter to demonstrate it okay so we have next inverter 1 2 3 4 which is nothing but another inverter like this we have eight strings connected to one inverter another eight strings connected to one more inverter and another eight string is connected to one more inverter so totally we have three inverters each of 50 kilowatt 50 into 3 which is 150 kilowatt so let's try to see all those calculation there and how these inverters are operating and here this what 50 kilowatt plant how many units we are generating okay so from this uh, we have 50 kilowatt into 3 150 150 into 5 so per day from this uh, complete plant we are generating 750 units of power so we have one more plant there also we are generating 750 units totally which groups around 1500 units of power we are generating in our campus per day so this is all about the connection this is about inverter 1 this is about inverter 2 and that is about inverter 3 so successfully we have been connected all this strings to one set and here we have the the power house here where we have three inverters okay so here you can see the three inverters and i will explain you the in detailly about uh, all the things so this is nothing but the control panel what we have inside and we have one two three the labeling is given so that is uh, 50 kilowatt inverter second one is another 50 kilowatt inverter next one is uh, another 50 kilowatt inverter uh, and all this uh, 50 kilowatt into three automatically it will constitute uh, 150 now now we are generating approximately 750 units per day why because each 1 kilowatt inverter will generate approximately 5 units per day so 5 into 150 which is 750 units now we will continue with the operation and how to operate this how to see the energy log and everything in our delta make grid connected inverter so we will have the you can attach and link in the above you can see the above we will attach a next link in the cards you can see about uh, all about this grid connected inverter if you feel the video is useful please like and share with the remaining uh, those who want to do like this uh, of our own if you want to design a solar plant of your own you can do this system 